Hello! It is pop painting time. I have Prince Adam, the new release, number 992, and I wanted to show what I do when I paint these pops. First thing I do is I lay down line art with a pen. I'm basing this on a drawing that I did of Prince Adam laughing, which is one of my favorite things. And I wanted to show you this because this is very similar to the cell painting that we did when we made He-Man in the Masters Universe. Now this is a little bit different in that I'll be painting on top of the line art. On an uh, actual production cell, the line art would be on one side and the paint would be on the back side. But a little hard to paint inside of a box, so we're doing it this way. And then I will redraw the line art on top of the paint. So, unfortunately I don't have cell vinyl paint. That is was exclusively made for animation. I am simply using craft paint, but it's liquid acrylic. It's a little less durable, but it still works. So, well, what I do, I've got three of these, and what I'll be doing is laying down the color, one color at a time, on each of the pieces. And that is exactly how they did that in the ink and paint department. They would lay down one color and put each of the cells for a particular scene on drying racks and let them dry, and then go back and do the next color. So I'm going to lay down uh, Adam's flesh tone right now, his skin color. What has to happen is I need to lay down a base coat, which is doesn't look very good, but it creates a grip that the next coat will adhere to. So that's all I do for that one. It looks terrible now, but it'll look fine when I'm done. So I come over to the next cell, and this craft paint, liquid craft, you can find it in any art store. I mean, even Walmart has this stuff. It, um, it dries very quickly. Now, some colors take two coats. The flesh tone takes about three coats. So I've done two. I have a third one. And so I set these aside to dry. Or I can move on to a non-adjacent color, let's say like his shirt that doesn't touch uh, the skin color and work that while it's drying, while the skin color is drying. Okay. All right, now I have laid in all the base colors and done the shading. Uh, it, uh, what's nice about this is that even putting several coats on it, a little bit of the line art still shows through. This is my favorite part. I get to go back and redraw the line art on the outs on the top side of the paint. And this is where it all starts coming together. And there we are. A finished Prince Adam. Now the only thing remaining to do is for me to sign it. And here it is, all finished, with the pop inside, and my signature.